Have you ever seen people that looks unhappy all the time? As if like they are mad most of the time. And imagine being betrayed so badly. Imagine someone in your family died that you loved greatly. Like going through, I guess, some emotional damage, but not really knowing how to deal with it. So if you don't know how to deal with pain, I believe in one way or another, it may eventually show. And I think much of those people that frown their face or look angry most of the time, I believe most of them are going through emotional pain. So if you are going through emotional pain, how do you believe you are going to react with others? Let's say in general. Maybe the majority of people like that will lash out in anger on you, may accuse you of things falsely, may overreact in a very negative way toward you. Have you thought about this? The way that they are feeling is being shown on their face. So if they aren't able to handle their own problems. If they choose to interact with you, I believe you have to expect things may not go well. They may play the victim or something like that. Have you thought about this? This is something you may need to keep in mind. Now, I am not telling you to avoid all emotionally damaged people or people who may cause you problems because of emotional damage. I am not telling you to avoid all of them. There may be some you may have to, but there may be some where you may need to affect their life, affect their life in a way to where it would help them to change or get better in some type of way. I hope this is making sense. We can't avoid all troublemaking people. There are some people who may be troublemakers where we need to involve ourselves with. We can't only be around people who make us happy. We can't always be around people who makes us smile. We may need to be around people who may unnecessarily challenge us for seemingly no reason. We may need to be around people who may criticize us in a way where we don't deserve. We have to be, the Bible tells us, Christians, that we are the light of the world and we are the salt of the earth. We have to affect the people who are on the wrong path. Yes, there may be some, <clears throat> no matter what you do, they may stay in their own dangerous path. But even then, we may not, to, we may not be able to teach to everyone we may not be able to tell everyone that you should come to Jesus Christ. 
we may not be able to give a sermon to everyone, but but I believe many people can be introduced to Jesus Christ through the way we behave. Hey, I see this person being nice. I be I see this person being patient. This person is long suffering. Like this person is so different than almost everyone I know. Like why does this person act in this way? I have to find out. So that person may be introduced to Jesus Christ on a relationship level because of how obedient you are to Jesus Christ. I hope this is making sense now. I really hope this is making sense. You can't avoid all troublemaking people. You can't. We have to, we should be, the Christians should be the influencers, not Beyonce and all those people like that. No. Let me stop here, though. May God bless us.